uh, log into the private group for Create It, Launch It, Profit. If you don't know how to get there or are not already a member, you just go to the top of this page on the Create It, Launch It, Profit uh, Facebook page, and at the top there is a pinned um, graphic there that you just click on that and you can get in. It's just $9.99 a month and uh, you'll be in. We're going to be talking about um, some uh, tools that I'm using to uh, just kind of redo the Zero to Hero page. Those of you that are in the Mastermind group, the Masters Mastermind group, or formerly known as the uh, Mastermind Retreat, um, you're in that uh, particular page um, for the Kajabi uh, because that's where we host uh, our Masters uh, mastermind uh, uh, training uh, membership site and so that's where you'll see it you'll see it after we fix it but if you want to see how I'm doing it and what tools I'm using just go ahead and uh, get into our private group there on Create Launch a Profit we're going to be using a couple tools to do it and there's some little tricks and things that I've learned along the way oh excuse me uh, and so you're going to uh, just want to see what those are and uh, and that's all inside there um, uh, on the Facebook Live TV show, and I'm glancing over my shoulder because I'm still watching um, the uh, Foo Fighters uh, broadcast live, and uh, I think it's a genius move. And what it is, is they've not been uh, live on stage in a while. I, I think uh, Dave Grohl fell off stage, broke his leg or something like that, and some other shenanigans were going on. And so they have not been live in over a year. And uh, they didn't tell, really, I mean, the news got out, but they didn't tell anybody that they were going to be doing this live concert. And apparently, people were invited to come, and it was a little bit of a secret. And then Foo Fighters uh, come out and uh, begin their concert, and I think it's fantastic. At, at one point, I saw there were 40-something thousand people watching live across the world that's broadcasting from uh, the United Kingdom. And... Um, I, I saw about a million one hundred thirteen thousand people had uh, viewed uh, the video. So on live at one time, over forty thousand people. Uh, but overall, people kind of going on and off, uh, you know, watching it and, and then uh, logging off and coming back to it. Over a million people watching live. Uh, welcome to the Facebook Revolution. It is happening. Uh, I'm sure there's other. Um, uh, bands that have uh, gone live uh, and with their concerts, but they're doing the entire concert live, and you'll be able to see the replay. I've posted it on my personal page and posted it on uh, the Facebook Live TV show. So I think it's just the uh, reason I did that. Obviously, is because I want people to know how you can use Facebook Live. I've been telling bands uh, that I know of around here that they just want to start going live from wherever they're playing, whether it's a, a wedding or if it's an actual concert on stage, uh, whether it's uh, at a supermarket like Whole Foods where they have uh, you know people uh, play guitar and, and sing over there uh, it, it's uh, it's reaching your audience who's not able to attend who did not know nobody knew this was happening it just went live and uh, there was a little thing um, at the beginning that said it'll be starting soon they ran a pre-recorded video and then they went live to the uh, the venue where it is live and it's going live right now and uh, they're playing apparently all of their songs because it's been going on. I've been waiting for it to, to stop so I could do my live broadcast, but it's not stopping. I, I, I love the Foo Fighters and and, uh, and love their uh, music. So that's that going on. Um, getting busy with all this created, uh, the, the products that we had promised that we are, we are putting together. So we're actively doing that. Again, if you're not in the private group, you're going to want to get in there uh, because I'm not only uh, sharing the things that I've learned from people such as Pam Hendrickson, uh, but also uh, from other people, including uh, Andrew Lane and Rene Benuelos and uh, who else? Uh, uh, ba, 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 John North, which we have to get back on that track. There's so much to do and not enough time. What the heck? I, uh, I wanted to look over here just a really quick. Um, I learned some new things. I, I'm going to probably talk about this later on in a Facebook Live TV show uh, broadcast. Uh, but... Uh, some people were cons not, not concerned. Well, some people were having problems with blue jeans. Uh, Yael uh, in our mastermind group had, had uh, said that she had heard there was uh, problems with the new update of blue jeans, and there was, and there is, and uh, it's the problem with uh, Facebook Live no longer using Flash and going to an HTML5, I think it is, um, and so the app barely works. It crashes and does all kinds of wonky stuff. Uh, but if you use Chrome, Chrome uses the HTML5. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Let me look at my email real quick. I was just going to go. I got two things going on here at the same time. I was going to go to my Facebook page uh, and see um, if there was anybody on there asking questions because I'm not even on it. Oops, with the Time Warner. Facebook. Face. 
<laughs> I can type, I promise. Uh, okay, where's my cursor? Where'd it go? Alright, let's uh, see if anybody... Oh no, I want to see if uh, that email to make sure that I'm speaking out right. Yeah, HTML5. So, uh, Facebook pulled its Flash Player support in its latest update in favor of HTML5. So all the problems that are currently ex that uh, you're speaking to me currently experience with the app can be attributed to the Blue Jeans app supports Flash. This also